Chapter 11, EX 1-1, a curious feeling. Oh, and Luca and Mascula, the main character of this story. Is this a fanfic? What's going on happening here? The best bridge series of 2019. Looks like the sun's about to set. Let's rest here for the night. I'm so hungry I could eat a bear cow -kin? That's a chicken stuffed into a cow stuffed into a bear. By the way, oh man, I'm drooling. I don't think I have access to all those ingredients, but I will see what I can do. Mew type, yes? <laughs> What's PGR? <laughs> Hell yeah, do you even eat mascula? Yes, we androids can replenish our energy with organic food. However, we are able to convert a wider range of substances into energy that people can. For example, the soil floor of the surrounding area will suffice. You know, did you know that so soil is made out of cow manure? We like that cow manure. Well, that sounds handy. Still, you might well eat with us instead of mushing on some dirt or whatever. Cow poo. What or no, I, uh... Huh? Did I say something weird? No, it's just that food shortages were common on battlefields of old. So we generally avoided eating the same things as people. <laughs> Sounds like you had a pretty rough time of it back in the day. We were merely making the pragmatic choice. It is inefficient for us to consume the food of people when we have other options. Ha! That sounds like someone who's never shared a good meal with friends. Ain't more mud mud, nothing more delicious than that. If you're with us, you're with us, and that means we eat together. Whoa, yeah! Oh, I don't know what to say. And this is the story of the love- this- <laughs> and kids, this is the story of how I met your father. <laughs> My thanks. Cleo, you're the damn best! I don't eat this well at an inn, much less on a battlefield. Yeah, we're crazy lucky to have you travel with us, girl. Come on now, that's enough. Look, sometimes even old... <laughs> Look, sometimes an even a cold-hearted Merc like me needs to express what's in his heart. And right now, my heart's full of tasty chow. Randall's right, which is super weird. But yeah, you always need to take the time to tell people stuff like that. Ah, uh, I think I see what's happening here. While I'm delighted to hear such lavish praise, I fear no amount of sweet talk will see in front of you is all we have. Cole, ice cold, you woo me, Cleo. Here I am just trying to tell you how great you are. Yeah, and you gotta go and do me dirty. <laughs> oh, well, in that case, perhaps I'll give this extra ceremony to someone else. Oh, on the other hand, a nice compliment like that probably deserves a something sweet. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> What's up, Mascula? You seem spacey. I can't laugh. I have no functionality for laughing. My apologies if the meal's not to your liking. I have little experience preparing food for your kind. What do you mean by- No, it's fine. Well, rather, we androids in fact lack the ability to... Taste. Wait, so everything tastes just like a big pile of bland carpet mush? Dude! Oh man, maybe I shouldn't have pushed this whole eating thing on you then. No, it was a good idea. In fact, you made me reconsider the cost of our replenishing energy stores. Uh? You mentioned the deliciousness of a meal taken with his friends, yes? And I'm finding this meal enjoyable. I even feel like I'm beginning to understand the concept of tests. I think what I'm feeling right now is the deliciousness that you spoke of earlier. Thank you, everyone. This is the most enjoyable time I've ever spent. <laughs> Cleo's a Sylvan Supremacist. Hey man, Sylvan Power, man. They're a very proud race. Oh, what's this romantic scene? This romantic setting? A hey, uh, Mascula. Yes? What is it? Oh, nothing. Just thought I'd come, you know, hang with you for a bit. Oh, well, if you're, if you're concerned about the watch, all's well. There's no signs of enemies in the area. I could cover a wide area by myself while engaged in search mode. You should take this opportunity to rest. Fatigue is a cause of problem for organics like yourself as I understand it. Well, sure, we all gotta sleep, but you need a rest too, you know? I mean, I got a free space in my tent, if you know what I mean. 
but it just said, Just because you don't need to sleep doesn't mean you don't need rest. Come on, man. No one can keep going a million miles an hour, no matter how awesome they are. So get some rest, yeah? With me? I appreciate the thought, but as I lack functionality for sleep, I don't know how to engage in rest. Well, let me teach you. I can teach you. <laughs> Uh, in that case, how about you and me just hang and chew the fat for a bit? You know, I got something for you to chew on. Chew the fat? Yeah, chat, talk, spill the beans, not watch as boring as hell when there ain't an enemy trying to kill you. Always oh, find a lonely, personally. You know, I've been lonely lately. Lonely, yes, I see. That's what was. D did I say something? From time to time, I've been assaulted by a curious feeling, like something's missing, like I've forgotten something. L like l love? Is this what you humans call it? I believe this feeling was loneliness. I've been lonely. <gasps> wow, that's heavy. <laughs> but hey, you're gonna be fine now, cause you got me. Wow, how romantic. What a stud. Ain't no cure for loneliness like whooping it whoa, whooping it up with a buddy. And I mean that kind of whooping it up. I'll show you what kind of whooping it up we're gonna do. <laughs> a buddy, you mean a a friend, yes? That you are my friend? Well sure, don't you think? Right, I I have a friend. I'm not lonely anymore. Yeah. Thank you, Luca. Oh, how romantic. Wouldn't Luca be the bottom in this case then?